Nina? Sanchez. We're live. I'm trying to be a parent. Aaron. I promise when I'm back, I'm going to feed my kid a carrot. Being a lot of carrots lately. I'm trying to be a parent. Oh, shit, I'm actually a parent. Sometimes you got to drink a session can be kind of stressful. Sometimes you hit the plug to that clean to help you rest, yo. You know your ass be slacking when you got to look up things on YouTube. Like, bro, what's the correct way to wipe your baby's butt? Now, welcome to the podcast. We are parents. And make moms laugh. Who you know got it like the King's family, Amanda and Sean, Nina and Keanu. Yeah. Now welcome to the podcast, trying to parent and make pops laugh. Who you know got it like the King's family, Amanda and Sean. It's the name G. Nina. Keanu. Well, y'all. Welcome I'm- back. Episode 57 of the podcast. Nothing's changed. <laughs> everything has changed. <laughs> and yet, everything has changed. Sorry for the delay in the missing of the week's podcast last week. But we had some other things that were going on. And we'll discuss those things <laughs> next episode. <laughs> Hold the suspense now. Yeah. So. Uh, Gosh, okay. Our last episode was the first New Year's? Yeah. Yeah, that was New Year's. So we talked about, uh, I think it being a short week uh, because you had like Christmas and then Christmas was on. Yeah, they were on Mondays. Monday and then New Year's Day New was, Year's on, was on, Monday. on a Monday. So that was kind of weird. Uh, what else did we talk about? We talked about going and looking for pies and I can't really remember what we talked about in the last episode. I'm kind of blending those two together. Yeah, I mean, it's. The holidays is always a blend time together. But the next day, your parents had. Yes, so my parents have arrived. And. Oh. Sounds like Keanu was screaming or something. But uh, yeah, so parents arrived on Tuesday, uh, the 2nd. Mm -hmm. We went and grabbed them. I went and grabbed them from the airport. Yeah, I did not. Yeah. Concerning that you might have the baby at some point in time. And then on Wednesday, we went to the doctors, right? Yeah. Yeah. And he was like, you should be expecting to have the baby like. Yeah, because I was two centimeters. That's when he checked yeah. me and I was two centimeters. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So we went to the doctor on Wednesday, the third. And doctor told us, hey, everything looks good. Baby's super deep in your vagina. Because I was 39, or is that the 40 week? Um, that was, oh, gosh, why does it feel like so no, long ago? No, I think ago? that Sunday was, or that Saturday was the, that okay. was the 39th week. Okay. So okay. then that Saturday was the start of the 40th week. Yeah. So went there and he did his little, uh. In and out real quick. Yeah, check thing. And he's like, yeah, you're, you're two centimeters dilated. So we were concerned that uh, the baby wasn't... Was that when he told us? I feel like it was later because I feel like my parents had been here for a little bit. Did it, we go to the doctor again? Well, you know what? I think we did. Okay, so when we went on the third, I was not dilated at all. And he had me come yes. back on that Friday. Yes, how quickly you start to yeah, lose your memory dude. after having a baby. Dude. And okay. Not sleeping. Okay. Ye- so we went, yeah, because we went and we're like, no, he said everything is good. Like, you're whatever is super thin. And we're yeah. just like, we're waiting. We're I waiting. was 90 per, 80% effaced, but I was not dilated and yet. He's like, you could definitely have the baby this week, he was thinking. And then we're like, okay, cool. So we came back, told the parents. Um, yeah. Well, he told me to come back, you know, come back in a couple of days or whatever. Um, and then, so we had went back and then that appointment, I think I was 40 weeks and he was like, or 39 and five. I don't even remember. I don't know. You guys, my days are all jobbled into one. Um, so he was like, okay, you're two centimeters. And he was like, oh, so he was like, we're going to, you know, if nothing happens, we're going to have an appointment on Friday. Mm -hmm. And this was on Tuesday. No, it was on Wednesday. Win- yeah, and he's like, uh, but, you know, I think you're going to have the baby any 
Maybe it was on Tuesday. Any day now. That wouldn't make sense. I pick my parents up on Tuesday. We had an appointment Wednesday morning, but the yeah. following week, I don't remember what day of the week it was. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we went back. Nothing Sorry, happened guys. on Wednesday or Thursday. We went back on Friday for just another quick follow up, I think. And he checked and he's like, hey, you're two centimeters dilated. Mm -hmm. So he's like, we think it's going to happen. I think it could happen this weekend. He was like, I might see you today. Yeah. later today. Or tomorrow. So at that point, we're like, cool, go back home, tell the parents, because we had gotten through, you know, one, two, three, a couple days with them so far. It was the fifth when we went back and saw him. And then it was the sixth. It was the seventh. Still no baby. And we're like, OK. And then did we see him one more time? Oh, it was once. It was once a week. So I think it was the third and then once that. I don't know, you guys. Was it the was it the I, third, and then was it Monday the eighth? I think so. Okay, so it wasn't Friday. No, because Friday is when we were supposed to go back, if nothing had happened. But he came the day before. So no, that was Friday the twelfth that we were supposed to go back. Yeah, yeah. So Friday, you guys. <laughs> anyway, dude, this just went off the rails. None of that stuff really matters. What ended up happening was. We were making sure we were doing a lot of walking mm -hmm. and curb walking. I was drinking my tea, curb walk, curb walk, and then I was eating my dates. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of people were telling us to do different things. They're like, have do sex. the castor oil thing, have sex. You don't have to tell us to have sex. Come on. We did acupressure. Was that the day? That I believe that was the day. That, that was, was the, the day the, leading the, into the night. Yeah. So we did acupressure on different yeah, points. Yeah, acupressure, guys. Yeah, because I was, I was 40 weeks in four days, and Sean did some different acupressure points, and then we had walked. I had probably walked quite a bit that day, honestly. We walked and we yeah, got ice cream. Yeah, because that was the day we also got ice cream, so I was like, hey, we should probably go get ice cream today mm -hmm. because there's a good chance we won't be getting ice cream on Friday because we'll most likely be having the baby or you'll be in a spot where you can't just go and get ice cream with us. Yeah. So. And so I was having like, I never had any Braxton Hicks. I never had like early labor contractions that I thought were contractions. She definitely ha had contractions. Yeah, but I didn't know what they were. I thought it was just him pressing out, but it was like hard on both sides of my belly when normally if when he's pressing out, it's only on one side. But like I didn't feel any pain or anything like that. It was just like pushing and so we went to bed at like 9 30 mm -hmm. and so then that was after doing all of the so that day mm -hmm. we did the the acupressure stuff yeah this some was stuff Wednesday. on her ankles on her feet My on her hands mm -hmm. on her back like up around her neck area did multiple things for a while we were in there for, in the room for a while doing that stuff didn't we also have sex i think we did. I'm pretty sure we did. We definitely had sex before. Yeah, we definitely had sex. Yeah, I think we like did everything that day. Yeah, we tried it all because we we're like, come on, man. Because like, we, I didn't want to go into labor when you had to take your dad back to the airport. So I was like, all right, and I don't want to be induced. So let's yeah. just try some shit out. So my dad was going back to the States and I was having to drive him back early Saturday morning, the 13th, early. So we're like, oh gosh, it's Wednesday the 10th. Like, we got to make something happen. Mm -hmm. Castor oil was not something we were really considering. No. But so we did all that stuff on Wednesday and then come Wednesday night. Yeah. <laughs> like literally we went to sleep at 930 and I woke up at 1045 with real, real contractions. Yeah. She was like, <laughs> well, it's normal size. It's, it's not, it's not that, that big. No, it was that, that big. She was more like, okay, well, you, you just uh, <laughs> let me have it right now. I, want it. I need it. I need it right now. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, did I wake you up at first? Like, I think I'm having contract. I think I tapped you and was like. You didn't wake me up until like one fifteen. Yeah. Cause, uh, 
They were getting real serious at that point. Yeah. But I think when I first had some, like I was moving around. I don't know if you were sleep talking or whatever. You asked me if I was okay. Because sometimes you do that and I don't know if you're actually awake. And I was like, I think I'm having some cramping. And then I was like, go back to bed or whatever. And I say go back to bed or? I think I said to go back. Because I was like in the in the mindset of like okay this is just the beginning everyone says as soon as you start your contractions try not to focus on them and go back to bed because you're gonna it's gonna be a while and then i'm like laying there and i'm like these are really frequent like i don't think they're supposed to be this close together so then i i rolled over and i text them then uh i text our doula and then i text uh my friend nicole (laughs) who just had a baby like in november um i text my doula and i was like i think i'm having contractions and she's like okay well you know when did they start and i'm like a couple minutes ago is when i woke up from them but i went to sleep at 9 30 so and she's like okay well get some rest like it's okay just try to relax oh that's gonna be good (laughs) oh that's gonna be good she's like don't worry about it. it's gonna be good just keep just try and relax. Yeah, hang try out. and relax, hang out. And I was, I was like, okay. So then I started timing them, and they were five minutes apart. And I'm like, isn't this when most people go to the hospital is when they're five minutes apart? What, what was uh, Michael Scott supposed to tell Jim? I think it was five, and then it five was minutes. three. And she's like, we're too late, we're too late. And then he, when Jim was reading all You're the baby books, he was like, five to seven minutes, five to seven minutes, five to s- this one says six minutes. It's same. Same, same, same. It's like same. different, but the same. Um, yeah, so they were five minutes apart. And so this was at like 1045. I started timing them, I think, at like 1108 or something like that. Because I was like... Just doing feel, her own thing. Yeah. Like, like I was still asleep. Yeah, I was trying to let Sean sleep as much because I'm like, I don't know what this is going to... That and we had kind of just went to bed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like an hour and a half ago. And so I'm like getting up. I'm like walking into the bathroom. I'm like in the bathroom with a light on, just kind of like breathing through them, trying different positions. I'm standing. I'm like swaying my hips. Um, Just things where I can be a little bit more noisy without trying to wake Sean up. And then I like go lay back down. So disrespectful. And and, um, I'm like, shh, hey, shh. I'm sleeping. Trying to sleep. (laughs) I know, right? And... Then I'm, I'm just like, okay, so I'm like in the bed, like I can't sit still at this point and I, I wake you up from my movement and you're like, are you okay? And I'm like, no. Mm-hmm. And you're like, you're not okay? Yeah. And I was like, no, no, dude, I'm not okay. <laughs> like, all right, what, what time is it? Like, it's like one fifteen. Okay. And then I'm like, I think that, laid that, there for a bit longer and you were timing them. Yeah. And then I think I got on my, my birth ball on my like just kind of was kneeling on it um and then i was like i need i'm gonna try the shower yeah, I think I suggested yeah you the suggested shower. the like, shower hey, you get in the shower and run some warm water on your back She's yeah like, yeah sure so we go into the shower i had two contractions in there that were like beyond intense and i was when like, you took your no you weren't bleeding i started to bleed in the shower in the shower yeah so that was when you came out of the shower yeah, I had two contractions in the shower. I lost my mucus plug in the shower. Mm-hmm. And, and I you were was like, the shower is not doing me good right now. Like, you were not a fan no, of I, the shower. No, I didn't it like the it. the heat or whatever. Yeah, I did not like it at all. But at that point, my contractions were so strong, I couldn't get out of the shower. Yeah, they were hitting her like a rock. I mean, they were like two minutes apart. She was in there deep ooing. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> like very deep i'm like uh okay let's let's message <laughs> like, the doctor <laughs> i'm like go downstairs get his card it's in my purse call dr yvonne and tell him we're going to the hospital <laughs> thank you for reminding me nina nina was very concerned oh. while amanda was in the shower uh she was in the bathroom for a minute and then we sent her out because obviously she gets very nosy amanda was naked and got I'm starting to have shit come out of my yeah, like that bleeding shit. Bleeding a little yeah. bit and stuff. And Nina's like, oh, what's all this? We're like, no, no, no. You have to go outside. So she went outside of the bathroom and we left the door cracked. And she was just like standing there. Oh my gosh, I know. With the my light baby. of the bathroom, like splitting her face as she's like half in the dark, half not in the dark, just looking through the bathroom, like looking at us oh, like mm. I know. So very concerned about mom. Yeah. Um, 
So I go get the card. I call Dr. Ivan. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I think Amanda is going into labor. And he's basically like, um, when did it start or something? I was like, uh, like 1040, 1030, 1045. He's like, okay. Uh, then he's like, how long a part of the contractions? I'm like, like two minutes. And he's like, I'll meet you at the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're, we're on the way. And then I like never the, asked you about <laughs> your conversation. Like we mentioned, um, incredible that he was just able to wake up. Yes, I have some like shocking alarm system on when people when call. The emerg- that's the yeah. emergency line. Yeah. Yeah. So you had also had been texting the doula who lives in, in Tulum. Tulum, which is like 40 minutes away from where our hospital is at. Mm-hmm. So I told her like, hey, this is Sean. We're heading to the hospital right now. Um, doctor said, get over there. We're like, we're going into this. And so now I'm in the frantic motion of like, we had already kind of packed everything up. I'm like, oh my God, I got to make sure we have everything. I'm like, get my, get my brush, grab the deodorant. (laughs) I already have a toothbrush in there. Like (laughs) all sorts of stuff that we're going through while she has like, I don't know, a minute to two minutes in between talking to me because when she's going through contractions, she ain't talking to me. I'm mooing. Yeah. Deep mooing. So <laughs> trying to figure all this stuff out, like packing the the stuff up, just making sure we have all of the things that we had already put together in bags and some of the little things that we didn't like her brush and all that type of stuff. Oh, oh I, hear, you, I hear him crying. So we're able to get her out of the bathroom down the stairs I th- yeah my water had broke some point within the shower and when i got out of the shower and like i i put a pad on at that point and i'm pretty sure it just i don't know i felt like when i was walking down the stairs i had i had like only a minute or two to do things before i had to get on my hands and knees to go through contraction so like sean's getting the car ready i'm trying to walk out to the car but I have to go on my hands and, Boom, knees, hands and knees like outside of our front door to have a couple contractions. I call my mom because I'm like, oh, fuck. I told her I was going to call her when they can started. And then when I was heading to the hospital, yeah, but it was like same, nice same. That she was considering. And I was like, OK, mom, we're heading to the hospital. I got to go because it's happening now. And she's like, OK, keep me up. <laughs> I'm <laughs> outside of like people have their windows open. Like, the fuck <laughs> like, is there a cow in here? <laughs> Uh, but the deep the deepness helped oh yeah definitely um and then so like you had me sitting in the front seat and i was like i gotta be on my hands and knees so i was like tucked underneath the glove compartment yeah, like yeah, in like the car as to where your feet would go yeah just leaning over this leaning seat. over the seat and you said that helped pretty yeah so i went through transition while we were in the car thank god because our help hospital is 15 minutes away yeah and luckily we were going at we left at 2 15 we left at probably 2 15 and so luckily there was nobody 2 15 in the morning nobody on the road yeah so we we're able to get there probably in Super 12 quick. minutes or something like that yeah but the entire time i don't think you went through a contraction in the car really i think i had like maybe one or two but they were they weren't nearly as bad as they were in the shower So we got to the hospital, pulled up right as doctors pulling up Mm -hmm. and we get out of the car. I make sure I like grab all the stuff. I think they brought down the wheelchair. wheelchair. I I got on my only people there. I got on my hands and knees again in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. And then the rocks in your knees. Yeah, I didn't even care. Um, Yeah. So he was like, "Okay, we have to check you out to see how dilated you are. And the girls we get up to the room. Yeah, the triage room. room. and so she's like trying to get me on the table. I'm like, un momento, like, give me a fucking second. I can't do anything right now. And so I get on the table. He's like, yep. There was quite a bit of blood too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. not like, well, I, I don't know how much is a concerning amount, but they didn't seem concerned about it. No. So I was like, okay. Like, I mean, it was basically dripping kind of all over the floor and stuff. Yeah. So like, oh, this kind of seems concerning to me. But, <laughs> yeah, he got you on the table and he... Yeah, he was just like, okay, yeah, we're having a baby right now. Yeah, he's like, let's go to the other room. 
uh, where we're going to have the baby at. She's right like, now. do you want to get in the water? I'm like, sure. You were thinking about it for a second. I'm like, that was the plan. Like, yeah. Because yep. I was fill, like, fill the, tub up. the shower felt fucking awful. So I was like, if it's going to feel anything like that, it's just going to make me feel worse. But I was like, Sean was like, that's, that's what the plan was. And I was like, okay, fine. And then it ended up feeling really nice. That's good. Um, it wasn't sure. So I got like two pictures of her in the tub. Yeah. And it all happened. So we had this, we have, you have this plan in your mind, which everybody tells you as you go through this stuff, like, hey, this is how we think it's going to play out. I'm like, well, let's bring these lights and let's this have a diffuser. Speaker. Let's have a speaker so we can play the music and, you know. It'll be this whole, this beautiful, beautiful kind of soothing, soothing process. process. <laughs> and we got there. I think she was in the tub probably by like, I don't know. I think when I said 40 minutes. You took a picture of me at like 2.51 mm, yeah. or something. Let's take a look. Yeah. And Feel free to keep talking. Yeah. So I had... So he was like, okay, like we're filling the tub up. And then, so I'm like on my hands and knees outside of the tub, like really debating if I can even get up and crawl in there. And 251. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And then, so I get in the water, I'm having a couple contractions in there, but they're not like as horrible. Cause I've actually heard once you get to 10 centimeters, that's when your body actually like kind of gives you a little bit of a rest because you're about to start the pushing phase. Um, and so I had a second to just kind of like, okay, I mean, these are still fucking awful, but I think my body was like, we're safe now. You don't have to worry about, because I honestly was like, I'm going to have this baby in the shower at home. Like I didn't know how I was going to leave from there. It was so intense. Dude, I well, well undersold that as far as the amount of time that it took you. So let's say I took that picture five minutes after you got in the tub. Yeah. Because I had been posting and telling everybody like, oh, she did that in 40 minutes. Like she knocked this thing out in 40 minutes. From, I mean, when we parked, maybe. Yeah, from when we parked. Yeah. I'm I talking about to go from to when, because they were telling you not to push. You're like, oh my God, I feel like I have to push. He's like, don't push yet. We're not like. I don't even a, I don't We're even not at a place that. where you should be pushing as far as like in the right room oh. or in the tub or anything oh. like that. Uh, so if I took that picture at 251, we might have been in the water for three to five minutes. So let's say at 245, we'll give you six minutes. We had the baby at 310. Yeah. So we're literally talking about if we're being conservative, 25 minutes that it took from when they were like, hey, you can push now to, hey, the baby's here. Yeah. It was, it was Which crazy. Is and I feel wild. like it took me, so the contractions I was having when I was pushing him weren't that intense. I don't know if it was because I was flipped in a different position. Um, but the pushing, like, I feel like I had a harder time pushing him out because like I was trying to time it with the contractions, but I felt like I wasn't being effective at pushing but he kept saying like, push, push, push one more. And I was like, some of them towards the end, I'm like, my contraction's basically over. I don't have the urge to push anymore, but I'm trying to push because they're telling me to, he's telling me to push. But later it's I see. Legitimately, like you're in the gym. They're like, one more step, one more, one more. Yeah. Come on, come on, one more, one yeah. more, get it out. I see, you got it, come on. Yeah, seriously. Like, I don't have it. But I think that was because he, the cord was around his neck at, at that point. So he was like, hey, yes. you know. Yeah, put, let's get it out. Yeah, let's so we can. Un unreliable accord. Uh, but yeah, but he, I really, I, I really liked it because he was so hands off. Like at a point I'm like, you're telling me to push, but you're not anywhere near here, bro. Yeah, like, he's just like, Hey, hold your legs open. Yeah. So he had her one knee kind of yeah, he it like out pushed. and I had her other leg and I was kind of holding it out and she was in like a laid back position. So I was behind her. Yeah. But I was kind of like trying to float my butt off of the seat because I know being it was a seated, giant like, jacuzzi tub. Yeah. Type thing. So I was, but I was holding on to a rebozo that was hanging from the ceiling, trying to hold myself up a little bit so I can get mm -hmm. my bottom off of the seat to kind of have the flexibility. Um, in the my water was probably up to like, and she was seated. Yeah. It was like what almost to my 
belly button. It was yeah. still filling up as we I was pushing him out. It probably ended up being like 14 to 16 inches yeah. of water. Um, so, you know, legit water birth. Yeah. And um, it's so funny. I listened to the, the video of me. But like, I think I could tell when I did have a slight ring of fire, or maybe because my voice like went <laughs> up a little bit higher. Um, but I don't even really rib- it had, I was in a, when they say birth land or what, whatever birth world, like I, that, I don't even know what happened. Just, yeah, <laughs> complete <laughs> out of body experience. And then she came back and she was like, put some respect on my name. <laughs> put some respect on my name. And then, then the doula, they're like, Hey, his head's out. If you want to look or touch. Yeah. Yeah. So his head wasn't all the way out at that point, mm-hmm. but she's like, it was, a, I would say it was at least 50% of the way out. And so they're like, the doula said, hey, his head is, you know, out if you want to touch. And you're like, okay. And then you went down and you're like, actually, never mind. <laughs> I, <laughs> you, I don't know if yeah. I'm ready. You're like, oh, no, no, it's okay. She's like, okay. <laughs> but man, we made it super easy on our doula because the idea was to like labor at the house For and go hours. through all this stuff and everything. And then have her come to the hospital with us and just kind of finish up the process. She met us there. She was there for maybe if the birthing process took 25 minutes, she was there for maybe 15 minutes of that. Yeah. And then the baby was there and then, you know, she stuck around afterwards and all that stuff, which was great. But we're like, this was not how we this was, expected yeah. it to go. Yeah. Um, and to your mom's credit, she had been telling you before, like, hey, once you start, it's going to be real quick. And we're like, well, it's different for everybody. We yeah. don't know exactly what's going to happen. And this is the Wrong. fact that she kept telling me, like, hey, it's, you know, it's okay. Like, even when we said we're going to the hospital, she's like, well, maybe ask him to meet you there in, like, an hour or something. And That's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. Incorrect. I'm like, no, I'm fucking having this baby right now. Oh, my God. You got to you gotta get here. Um, and it was like. See that? No. Okay. What else we got? What else we got? We got to have this. It was. Man, not again, not at all what I expected from like, hey, waking me up at one fifteen to, hey, we had the baby at three ten. Condensed all of this stuff into that short time period. And it was just like, boom. Done. And you're like giving me counter pressure in the shower. And I'm like, harder. No, that's too hard. Like yeah. all these things. I'm like, OK, I know you just did that, but I don't like that. Either. Don't do that. Like no. all with like one word, two word commands, because mm-hmm. I can't. Talk. And I was like, hey, you're being really rude right now. <laughs> Maybe uh, please or don't do that. No, thank you. I'm just like, no, no, no. No. Yes. Harder. <laughs> Too hard. <laughs> Kevin over here, you're like, these condensing these word answers. <laughs> like, um, can you explain that, what that means? Now you've taken all this extra time that wasn't necessary. But. Uh, yeah, the, the pressure point that you did on my thumb, I feel really helped. Really? Okay, yeah. yeah. So between, so that meaty part, you guys, between your index finger and your thumb, if you were to make the loser sign right down there at the corner of the L, would squeeze that. Because you you squeezed that when I was in the tub, but you were standing on the outside. Mm -hmm. That was when I first got in the water. Mm -hmm. I feel like that, that, and when you did, and when you did the counter pressure in the shower on my hips, that helped, but it was a very specific pressure that felt better but as soon as you went downstairs to get the card out of my my purse i was like oh fuck he's not here for this next one and i was like oh god oh god okay (laughs) you can do it you can do it (laughs) so i know that we had talked about like what that experience was like because i think that's the biggest the biggest concern for women is just like how do you describe what and i know you're gonna have a hard time describing i think it's very similar to when somebody does like DMT, when they like just fucking add a body experience and they're like, it just hey, what was that? Like? All. Yeah, you're like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think my body helped me block out the, uh, the not trauma, but yes, trauma yeah. of pushing out a live human being from my hoo-ha. Yeah. Um, so what do you feel like now that you've experienced it, and coming up to it, being very worried about if you were going to be able to do it, potentially doing it in record time. <laughs> um, you know, where 
what are your feelings on that? What would you tell somebody else that hasn't, or your pre previous self, pre-pregnancy or pre-birth self? Well, what to expect? Yeah. Um, it it hurts, but obviously, like, it's. I don't want to say it's manageable, but it's like. I feel like it wasn't as bad as I was honestly expecting. It was still really bad, but it was so fast. Um, like just yeah, when I was in the shower, like seven hours or something, yeah. that might be a, yeah, the, the a speed bigger. of it. This is so just push out your baby really fast guys. Make yeah. it much easier. You said the water, you feel like the water helped with that. Yeah, with the contractions. Well, you mean what, the shower or the tub? No, the tub. With like I feel the like the tub slowed it down a little bit. Um, and slowed just down what? Slowed down the contractions, the intensity of them. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it could have been psychological because I was more relaxed. Like at that point, I know you were playing the music for me when we were in the bathroom here. And then you were also playing. Thank you for doing that, by the way, because mm -hmm. I... I noticed it after I pushed him out that it was playing and I'm like, okay, that was you know nice. But even when I was pushing, like the room was very quiet. So it was still a really good pushing experience for me. I feel like that was way more calm. Um, How many people were in there total? We had, of course, us, of course, Dr. Ivan, of course, a doula. And then like one other one nurse lady. Nurse and well, then the maybe another person. Yeah. So one nurse and then the pediatrician that was in there. Yeah. So there so was, was a total six. of six people. And it was like quiet. I mean, I didn't even really notice anybody else. Yeah, no one said anything except Dr. Ivan saying like, hey, push, push. And you saying like, hey, you're doing great. You're I was fucking go. I yeah. was like, go. Ah. <laughs> no, you were go. giving me very encouraging words. Thank you. Um, just like, you're doing it. You're doing it. it you're doing you know. it well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're, you're doing great. You're almost there. Um, you know, you were being very calm and thank you for that. Um, but as far as like what to tell, okay, so the, the 10 centimeter contractions or nine, eight to 10, I would say are obviously going to be the worst. Um, I would, would just remember thinking after it was done, thank God those were the worst contractions because if I got there and he only said I was at six, I don't know if I would have tried to get an epidural at that point. Yeah, because I felt like the ones that you were having in the shower area, I was like, whew. I honestly was like, tough. I'm going to have this fucking baby here. I can't move. But I was like, I oh, want to have a baby Thank here. God you didn't because I wouldn't have known, like, with the cord being wrapped around his Oh, neck my and God, yeah. That would have been not good. No, definitely. I'm sure, not. mom would have come in and figured some stuff out. But. Yeah. So he must have, that Dr. Ivan said that he must have wrapped the cord around his neck, like, within the days because it wasn't like that yeah. on the ultrasound on any ultrasound yeah it was constantly in front of his face and stuff which yeah. i mean i guess you could see end up happening but that's why you know that's why you have a doctor in these type of circumstances and you know, yeah. i know some people want to do we have some friends that are going to try and do just at home but they have they have a, a medical team with yeah. you gosh i know there's people that do it by themselves and i'm like you Remember that girl that we gave well, no, she said her mom was a doula or something for a long time. Yeah. Something like that. The girl that we gave a ride to that was in the class, mm -hmm. that first time I took a class, she's like, this will be my first not home birth or oh, some, yeah. uh, some shit like that. Yeah. But. Super crazy, though. I'm glad it happened fast because it, I don't know. I can imagine 7, 10, 15, 24, well, 48 hours that. Yeah, well, granted, the contractions only, they get worse the more dilated you are. So if you're dilating slow, then they're not all like that. Yeah, very true. Yeah, I think everything that happened was so condensed that you're like, well, you took what normally takes people 24 hours to go through, and you put it in this two and a half hour time block. Yeah. Um, oh, Nina's over there. But overall, really good experience. Um, I mean, how'd I How'd you feel about doing it in Mexico? Like, of course, we haven't had a baby in the U.S. Yeah. So we don't know what to compare that to, but I think so many people were concerned about like the cleanliness of the facility, the communication that you have with the people, the, you know, yeah. all basically everyone spoke English. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's a couple of the nurses that came in, you know, that didn't, but 
they were just like checking my blood pressure and stuff like that, you know, like I wasn't having like conversations with them really, but everyone else, like all the, the main doctors, the pediatrician, the hospital staff, like for the main, the, you know, intake and admission and stuff, they all spoke English. So that was really, really good. Um, I feel like I've had great care out here so far. Um, I have had a couple comments of, you know, people just saying like, oh my gosh, how did you actually have the birth in the water? Because none of the hospitals I know will actually let you deliver in the water. Yeah, that's another thing about the U.S. There, there's so many rules yeah. and regulations around things that kind of prohibit you, not just like birthing things, but a lot of things in general. Mm-hmm. Where in other countries, they tend to be much more flexible. Maybe they're more into like, not just natural birthing stuff, but like, um, medicine, kind of, yeah. like, uh, homeopathic, homeopathic type. type of things. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Yeah. And so even though we were in a private hospital, I was allowed to deliver in the water. I mean, they had a giant fucking tub yeah. exactly for that reason. And you know, that's and what I we had told an op- before. Like, yeah. Hey, this is what we want to do. And he's like, cool. We've done that before. Like, mm-hmm. We're good with this. Yeah, exactly. And a lot of times obstetricians are also against water births, but Dr. Ivan is an obstetrician who is water birth certified. So I think it's just about knowing what you want and then finding the people that match up with that. And then, um, you know, just making sure you're communicating early about what your things are. Because, I mean, I told him like, hey, I don't want any interventions. I want this to be as natural as possible. And I feel like he did exactly that. Well, and then as soon as the baby was born, they're like, Put that fucking baby on your skin. Yeah, they let me sit. I was like, what happens now? Like, like are you supposed to do to something? Like, yeah. So we just sat there for a while, and then he's like, you know, checking the umbilical cord, mm-hmm. making sure everything was good with the umbilical cord, that stuff was still flowing, and that was starting to slow down. Um, yeah, and they... And then I cut the umbilical cord while we were still sitting there in the tub. Then we sat there for longer. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, all right, let your body, like, rest for a few, because we're going to have to push out the placenta. Mm-hmm. So he put me on the table. I only had a first degree tear. So they gave me like one or two stitches. One stitch. He said you had some minor tearing inside. Nothing that required any stitches. You had the one. Um, like my labia or something. Yeah, I don't know. Tear that was uh, required one stitch. And then they ended up working out. The wasn't so much. He kind of helped push. That yeah, he out. kind of massaged it down. And then he had the cord wrapped around scissors. So he was kind of like. I had the urge to push at towards the end when it was further down. So I helped him push it out. And then the doula took the placenta from, we brought a cooler. Yeah, brought a cooler so we could make pills out of it. Probably also something that I don't think they do in the U.S. It's, you can, it's more of a doula midwife thing. Um, a lot of obstetricians frown upon it. It's a, it couldn't, it can, a lot of the studies on um, the placenta pills, a lot of them are, possible placebo effect there's a lot of placebo effect i mean life is a placebo effect yeah I like the way that you think your mind yeah, yeah the way that your mind interprets things is exactly it so whether whether it works or does. she fucking burns that thing at their house or and she puts random stuff in there <laughs> or she actually puts it in there it's not that's not the the point um yeah so we'll see i yeah we'll see how if that makes a difference i mean you can literally like change the makeup of your body cells and different things like that by thinking it so placebo effect that's complete bullshit as long as it's not hurting me so yeah i mean there's rare instances where you take it and you feel a little worse but then you just like say okay well now i know that my body doesn't like this and then now i can stop yeah you know but if you take it and it makes you feel a lot better then well then that's a win let's Um, see what else um you felt like you had gotten really good care there just you would mention a couple times to different people. You're like, oh, my God, everybody was so nice. Yeah, even because I was messaging the hospital on WhatsApp. Like, That's another thing, the communication that yeah, you have with them. Yeah, the communication outside of the U.S. with businesses, I feel, is just a lot easier. A lot of a lot of businesses communicate via WhatsApp um, in general outside of the United States, and the hospitals is no exception. So I was constantly like asking text them. text you and stuff, which is so weird. You wouldn't just like be texting yeah. the hospital. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, like, I have a question Mercy about General this. or something. Yeah. Like, well, let me text you over here. And they respond right away. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, everyone was super nice um, answering all my questions. And I feel like this the staff was always super nice, too. 
Um, so overall, a, a really good experience. They just kind of really left us alone. Yeah, that was another thing. Like, they didn't come in and do anything. I mean, obviously, they come in and check on Amanda. They brought her food a couple times. I wanted to make sure that she was changing her diaper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep, changing my diaper. But we had, they didn't take the baby at any point in time no, they away did, they, from us where we couldn't see the baby. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they got them all cleaned up while we were, I mean, just right there next to us in the room that we gave, that she gave birth in. Um, you said they gave them the vitamin K shot? They gave them a vitamin K shot. They did not do an eye ointment, I don't think. The drip drops in the eyes? Did they? Yep. Okay. I, I was standing right there. Oh, okay. Me and the pediatrician did the drops in his eyes. Okay, gotcha. Um, but yeah, it was just all like right there. Mm-hmm. At no point were they like, hey, we're going to take... I think they did ask. They're like, hey, do you... They asked us something. I think they asked if we wanted them to wash the baby. Yes. And then... But then I think... when Because she, she came back and she said that and I translated. I was like, is it necessary to wash? And I think she said something like, no, do you want me to check if he went to the bathroom? Oh, that was something I was going to bring up. Amanda didn't shit her pants. I did not. I Nothing. I thought I felt. Doctor Ivan was like, "Yep, that's the feeling. Push." He's <laughs> like, "That's what you're gonna feel. It's like pushing out a big dump." Oh, and my back hurt. That's yeah. one thing. Yeah, you said your back was really hurting. I don't think you were in like the most. I wouldn't call it the most ideal position, but I don't think it was. It was wasn't most like ideal. tons of support with the way that you were sitting in the tub. And the water wasn't necessarily high enough for me to try a bunch of other positions because then you know when you're half in half out then you feel heavier so it's like I had to keep my belly under the water as much as possible and because we happened so fast the by the time I pushed the baby out the water was really really full but as I was pushing it wasn't super full it was definitely way more full by the time the baby came yeah out. I was like how does water get so high um but yeah so I I was surprised there was like essentially nothing in the water either after pushing the entire baby out, there was like nothing in the water. There was a few little like, you know. Tiny clots or clots something. Of, yeah, blood or whatever. But mm-hmm. outside of that, literally there was nothing in the water. I was like, wow, I expected it to like fucking be <laughs> like uh, Alexi and Sophia's bath <laughs> was, God, where yeah. it was just, with that bath bomb where it was like, oh my God, somebody got murdered in this <laughs> bathroom. So. Yeah. That was, but I think that's a, another good part of having it in the water because when you got out, you started to bleed. I mean, there was blood that was dripping all over the place yeah. and you got on the table and there was bleeding. Mm-hmm. Again, not excessive bleeding, but essentially none of that was coming out in the tub. Yeah. And we were sitting in there for a while, even after the baby was born. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was um, a really good experience and they, you know, they let us rest and hold, we literally held the baby whole time so we had the baby we they moved us into the recover room and then we were there until five the same afternoon so once dr ivan and the pediatrician came back to check on us between like three and four they're like okay once the pediatrician comes then you should be good to go between five and six if you want if you you can stay yeah he asked us do you want to stay the night or like what do you want to do and we're like well if we could go home today because we have family at the house you know and he's Time's like running out yeah Probably he's better like, sleeping situation yeah all sure you know between five and six we just got to make sure that the baby is okay she's going to come give you the discharge papers and um you have to do your shot oh yeah they gave me the rogam shot because um i'm negative the baby's a b positive a b positive i am a positive and i'm a negative you're a negative and he's a b positive which what does that mean I, for him. I don't know how, I don't know where the B portion comes in. Me either. Oh, oh, I hear you. I hear you. I don't he's know. He's also that. so fucking cute. He is the cutest and very he is strong. very vocal. Very strong too. Um, so we should probably turn it back to him. But yeah. Um, yeah, super good experience. Breastfeeding has been a bitch so far. Yeah, I think next episode, so we just talked about the, the, the birthing birth, yeah. process. So next episode, we'll talk about, like, we'll start again catching back up and what the the aftercare were like and yeah. everything thus far um but i would say so far so good we got a completely healthy 
baby. Nine out of nine Apgar score. What? Yeah, which means couldn't be healthier. The healthiest. Seven point two five pounds, mm-hmm. twenty inches long. Mm-hmm. Um, everything else was good. Came out with hair on his head, mm-hmm. which. That kind of defeats the whole indigestion thing with the heartburn, because normally they say you get heartburn Mm -hmm. from uh, a baby who has hair on his head. He had, Amanda had like no heartburn. Nope. Not Um, at all. Yeah, so we got plenty of of other things to talk about. What are we at right now? The 45 minute mark. I just want to read what the week 40, because you gave birth at 40 weeks, five days. Yep. The morning of the fifth day. Kiana was born. Oh, this is really, somebody had sent me this. So like, how funny that uh, he was born at, there's a couple different things with the numbers there, but one that somebody told me, they're like, oh, he was born on 1-11-2024. And if you add one plus one plus one plus two plus zero plus two plus four equals 11. No. Yeah, so one eleven. 2024 equals 11. There was some other stuff with 310 being his born time. No. Um, that's that's kind of cool to look into. And 310, if you add 3 and 10, that's 13. <laughs> Nina, whose favorite number is 13? Whose birthday is on the 13th? Daddy. All sorts of things going on there. So this is out of our book. We'll wrap it up with this. But congratulations, week 40. Finally, you have reached the end of your pregnancy. Very true. Your baby weighs between six and nine pounds and measures between 19 and 22 inches. Yep. Though healthy babies clock in anywhere on either end of the spectrum, about 30% of all babies are born during this week. That would be us. But yours may want to stay in a bit longer, which is totally fine. Your practitioner is most likely won't allow mom to go over 42 weeks. We had a plan set for that. Um, Mom is absolutely huge and ready for this to happen. Yes. (laughs) Her cervix is softening and starting to dilate. She's most likely experiencing discomfort and is excited, terrified, nervous, sleep deprived, and anything else that you can think of. She could really use your support in every way possible, physical, mental, and emotional. And that says baby stats. Baby is whatever the birth weight will be. Hmm. Interesting. I know. I thought it would get bigger. The doctor can guess, but more likely, more than likely you won't know until they put the baby on the scale. Baby has dropped in his position of birth. He definitely had dropped. Mom's cervix continues to soften and dilate. Um, Mom won't be getting her period for several more weeks. If it's go time for mom, keep in mind she will deliver not only a baby, but also the placenta, often referred to as the second birth. So there's all sorts of other things that they talk about, but 40 weeks, five days. Spontaneous birth, no interventions, no medications in the water. 25 minutes. Just how I planned it. (laughs) That, folks, is how it's done. And I think, uh, first let me get this in. (laughs) And that one more time. Put some respect on my name. And then just a really important one. Just to really wrap it up here with Yeah, I think there was a good one here. Um, White niggas. (laughs) White niggas. (laughs) So I think we'll end it at that. <laughs> Happy to now be parents. Now the fun really begins trying to parent. Yep. Couldn't be more real. I love you so much. I love you too, baby. You did such an incredible job. So proud of you. Thanks for doing all the hard work. You are welcome. Our baby's crying. Yep. Time to get back to him. <laughs> it's been real, y'all. It's been fun. It's been a trying to parent podcast. And we have a baby. Now there's three of us. Peace.